Hi everyone, my name is A says hi, and today we have another old baking video of mine uh, while I am gone on vacation. Hope you guys enjoy this uh, recycled content, and uh, yeah, uh, younger me, take it away. Hello all of you beautiful people and- Hey guys, so uh, before we get into the video, I just want to say that y'all should have this recipe that I use in this video because I doubled it and as you'll see later on, I kind of um, pushed my mixer to the limit, to say the least. Uh, but yeah, so just make sure to have the recipe and you'll be fine. You'll have plenty of muffins. Okay, okay. On with the video. Okay, so uh, last week or actually a couple weeks ago now, I posted a poll on Instagram asking you guys what uh, you wanted me to bake and the first suggestion that I saw was blueberry muffins so here we are congratulations Sky we are doing blueberry muffins because of you it's amazing why does that sound sarcastic that doesn't mean I don't mean to sound sarcastic I'm sorry <laughs> um <laughs> anyway so yeah we're doing blueberry muffins uh this time around you guys are going to need a scale because I forgot to convert my metric recipe into, um, you know, the, uh, the American measurement system. Cups and everything. So, sorry about that. Oh well. Um, yeah. So you need a scale and I think that's all I need to say before we get into it. So let's just jump right in. We're going to start off by adding 500 grams, or here's something I could convert into the American system, uh, five sticks of butter. And, as usual, the butter sticks to the plate and annoys me, and I have to use my finger to get it off, but it's okay, it's whatever, you know, it's fine. So after we add the butter, we're going to add five, not five, 650 grams of sugar, and then 12 grams of salt. And then once we do that, we're going to cream it all together, make sure it all gets nice, and they all become just well known with each other and become one big happy family. So when you start off creaming, as you can see here, uh, you're going to want to start off by pulsing it a little bit, this little like stutter step kind of thing. Uh, that way it starts getting incorporated slowly and uh, you just don't immediately start it on high and everything just, you know, kind of just shoots out everywhere. So we're going to leave it to cream for about um, two minutes and uh, while it's creaming you can clean your dishes or do whatever or you can grab a rubber spatula because you guessed it it is finally time to scrape down the sides once again just like in everything else so once again don't be afraid to uh, use your finger to help clean the paddle get a little bit dirty you know uh, because the paddle is where people always screw up they never scrape down the paddle and they end up with unincorporated dough but you know not my problem uh, <laughs> So we're going to let it cream for a little bit longer and once it's finished, uh, we are going to start adding our eggs and here we are. So we're going to start adding uh, our seven eggs one at a time, uh, please just ignore what I just did there. Uh, waiting for the eggs to get fully incorporated before adding another one and then another one and then another one and then another one. My timing is off on this, uh, but I don't care until all of the eggs are in there and fully incorporated. So. Yeah, after we finish that, it is time for the messy part. Now then, my friends, I bet you're wondering what could possibly be messy in baking? What ingredient could possibly cause a giant mess in this kitchen? Well, I'll tell you what. Flour, my friends. Dun, dun, dun. I have to do my own sound effects because I'm too lazy. But yeah, so we're going to be adding one kilogram, or if you're doing it at home, 500 grams of flour, a little bit at a time to try and prevent as much as it, uh, as much as it, as much of it from falling out as possible and try and stay clean. But you know, that doesn't exactly work because nothing goes according to plan and uh, I'm kind of just mixing and yeah, no, I'm, it's just home cooking, okay? That's my excuse for this, it's home cooking. Uh, also, you shouldn't be doing this much to begin with, but whatever. So once we add uh, one kilogram of flour, we are going to then add 50 grams of baking powder and 25 uh, milliliters of vanilla extract. And then we are going to start adding 750 milliliters of water a little bit at a time. And yeah, that's what it looks like now. So we'll scrape down the sides and everything, make sure it's all good. Uh, we'll scrape down the paddle too. And there. Okay, so I kind of skip. Uh, didn't film the rest of the creaming because I thought I was recording but I wasn't but oh well whatever 
So, um, once it's all mixed together, I bet you're wondering, Aaron, how the yeah. are you going to finish uh, the dough and add the blueberries and everything else in that bowl? And to that, I have to say, you're absolutely right. I can't. <laughs> um, I have, there's no way I could do this. So, excuse me while I go find a bigger bowl or pot or something uh, to go mix it in and finish it off. Okay, so now that we uh, have a bigger pot or whatever, let me just go ahead and awkwardly uh, add this mixture into the bowl uh, to finish it off because as you can see, I'm kind of doing this with my left hand and the camera angle's weird. I, I, I don't know, I just don't like it. So, uh, once we uh, get it all in the bowl and all scraped down and everything, we still have a little bit of water left to add. So I'm going to use a whisk uh, to finish it off really quick. Finally, everything is all mixed together and we can start adding our blueberries. So we are going to add uh, 500 grams or about, um, I think 18, 17 ounces of blueberries, I think. Uh, so we're going to fold them in there carefully with a rubber spatula, making sure to spread them all around and share the love. Uh, Cause no one wants a muffin that doesn't have any blueberries in it. That's just weird. No one wants a blueberry muffin with no blueberries in it. That's just weird. Yeah. So uh, once we it's all folded in there and everything, it is time to start scooping our muffin or scooping the butter in the butter, scooping the batter into the muffin pans, two thirds of the way full. Uh, excuse the fact that I cannot speak any English. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so if you wanted to spice it up a little bit, um, I don't have time to sadly, but if you wanted to, you can add a uh, streusel on top. Uh, streusel is just something basic that you can just like look up a quick res recipe online to do. But yeah, uh, maybe I'll do a video on streusel later. But anyways, this is it for now. Uh, we're just going to fill up all of these little muffin tins two thirds of the way full when I only have an hour left to go to work. But yeah. So we're going to put it into a 400 degree Fahrenheit oven for about uh, 20 to 30 minutes and then once they're ready we are going to take them out of the oven and then let them cool for a few minutes before removing them from the pan. Hey everyone, thank you all so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, are able to make it and taste it for yourselves. So if you guys have any comments or feedbacks or suggestions or whatever, just leave them in the comment section below. And again, thank you all so much for watching this, and this is Aaron signing off.